For more information on Recycled Mania, Mark Doss is in our studio with a special guest. Hello, I'm joined today by Stephen Heinitz, Recycling Coordinator for VCU. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Heinitz. Thank you for having me today. I appreciate it. So this is the fourth year that VCU has participated in Recycle Mania. What was it that made VCU participate in this event? Well, VCU uh, is very excited about recycling. We've had a recycling program for close to 14 years now. And Recycle Mania is just a, a great opportunity for us to showcase our program and also uh, increase awareness about recycling. And Recycle Mania, it's a friendly competition. There's over 500 schools participating throughout North America in Recycle Mania. So it's just a fun, uh, a fun way for us to promote recycling, uh, th simple things that faculty, staff, and students uh, here at VCU can do to you know, help the environment. Um, so you talked about this this bracket. The bracket is kind of like a very much a basketball tournament bracket, which we all kind of know about. How do you advance in the bracket to kind of, I guess, get to that next level? Well, the bracket is more of a. It's kind of because it is a competition, and and VCU and and you know we have a. I I love VCU basketball, so I I'm a Ram fan, and the bracket is kind of almost like um, the big 64 team. Uh, you know, championship that we have every year, and VCU, of course, we want to be at the, we want to be there at, at the final, at the final four per se. And the way we advance is basically uh, just get increasing our, our our recycling rate, the volume of recycling that we recycle here at VCU, whether it be uh, paper, bottles and cans, cardboard, um, food waste, which we, we're not doing food waste right now, but we're looking at that. So any way we can just uh, get our recycling volume up, and also which is through participation, and that's recycle mania. That's the thing. We just want to get participation. Every year we have new uh, you know students come to VC, new freshmen. We want to get the freshmen excited. We want to get uh, the other faculty, staff, and students that have been here a while get reinvigorate them about that recycling is something. It's here. It's a it's an active program at VCU, and and please participate. We we want to make it easy and convenient for you. Now you mentioned the recycling rate, which currently now is at thirty five percent. That's our current recycling rate, and it it does change every month. You know, we we redo our numbers every month, but yes, it's currently at thirty five percent. Our goal this year is to get up to forty percent. So we're always looking to increase our recycling rate, but right now it is 35%. And what do you see as the future of recycling at VCU? I just see it keep growing. It's, uh, there's a lot of opportunity. You know, like I said, if we're recycling 35%, unfortunately 65% is still going into the waste stream. So there is that 65% uh, room for improvement, which is still uh, a large, you know, you know, we, a large area for us to improve, and then we are looking at zero waste. Um, zero waste is a, a pretty ambitious goal. Uh, you might hear cities of uh, Seattle, Washington, and San Francisco, and, and some other universities around the country that are very progressive, are looking at zero waste. And we're mm -hmm. we're also looking at that at VCU. We don't have a a timetable yet. I can't say we're going to have zero waste in five or ten years, but it is something we are seriously looking at. And the more we educate um, the people that you know go to VCU about how you can reduce the amount of waste that you generate, the better we, you know, the quicker we can get to a, a zero waste environment. Mm -hmm. Again, joining me is Stephen Hines, recycling coordinator for VCU. Thank you for stopping talking with us, Mr. Hines. You're quite welcome. Most VCU students.